You may wonder why we're inside filming. Well, the answer is very simple. It got very, very windy today. So all I could do is do some shots without sound because it was too loud. Yep. This video is about combat gardening. Gardening in the Southwest can be war. At our garden club meeting this past weekend, the master gardener who runs the show came up with that term, and we thought that was the perfect description of what we do here. We also thought it was important that people should see the kind of problems that you have when you garden, because sometimes, especially if you're a beginner, you get out there, you follow the rules, and you fail miserably, and you think you're the only one on the planet who's having this problem. And while you may not be able to solve the problem, at least knowing that you're not the only guy out there who's having this problem really makes a difference. You know, we came here 15 years ago and we've been gardening every single year since then. And when we first got here, there was nobody who had gardening experience in the area. Not that we could find anyway. We actually did find out later there were some people we just hadn't met them, but there's not many people here who garden. So we gardened and we both had been gardeners before a lot of gardening experience all over the United States. Right. And I can tell you that I was shocked by what we discovered. Well, you know, every place we'd lived, there was always some sort of an issue that would happen. That's normal with gardening. But this place has got more issues than, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and it's just, it's not just the weather. It's the bugs, it's the rodents. It's, and some of the stuff comes in waves, which is the hard part. When we first started, we had never even seen a gopher here. And I remember, oh, probably six or eight years ago, chatting with one of the people who we did find out was a, a big time gardener. And Henry said, how's your garden doing this summer? She's like, what garden? She said, the rodents just came in and ate it, every, everything. All of it down? Right, to the ground. The high desert tries to kill you and your plants. Wind, heavy rain, no rain, dust devils, rats, mice, thrips, aphids, all manner of beasts, all try to kill your plants. These potato plants were attacked by insects. We think that it's a disease that's been transmitted to the plants. Now we get to figure it out. These tomato plants replace peppers that were eaten by rats. And of course, they eat all of one variety. We've been trapping them for months. We're gradually getting rid of them. This crow puts on a display to make sure that it's dead. I put fertilizer on these straw bales yesterday. It was supposed to rain. It didn't rain. Now 24 hours later, I'm busy watering the fertilizer into the bales. So far this year, we've managed to outfox the gophers. This hollyhock is blooming. It's really nice to see this going. Hey, 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 hey. 
We're just enjoying these flowers. In past years, they've been killed by gophers. Unseasonably warm weather is busy killing this pea plant. It's about giving up the ghost for production. The wind really tries to shred plants. Do-it-yourself PVC hoops combined with row covers help to keep our plants alive. Our asparagus bed is a bright spot in our garden. It's approximately three feet deep with hardware cloth in the bottom. That keeps the gophers out. The rats and mice don't seem to like it. Even tough plants like the prickly pear aren't immune. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the summer turns out. <laughs> well, there's a reason why we have books on the shelves behind us. If you would actually be able to look at those titles, they're mostly gardening books and other things that relate to living on a homestead. Well, thanks for coming along with us. I hope you have a better week than we've been having. <laughs> it's been a fine week. We Well, the past week we fed the crows three rats and one mouse. So that's a good start. <laughs> thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. I have to remember to say combat gardening, not combat archery. <laughs> I wanted to say combat archery. I suppose if I used the bow and arrow and the drum gardening, it would work great. <laughs> yeah, well, combat archery would probably work on that rat. <laughs> <laughs>